Hans Jenny expanded on Kladny's work in the 1960s, using various fluids and electronic amplification to generate sound frequencies and coined the term cymatics. If you run simple sine waves through a dish of water, you can see patterns in the water. Depending on the frequency of the wave, different ripple patterns will appear. The higher the frequency, the more complex the pattern. These forms are repeatable, not random. The more you observe, the more you start to see how vibration arranges matter into complex forms from simple repeating waves. This water vibration has a pattern similar to a sunflower. Simply by changing the sound frequency, we get a different pattern. Water is a very mysterious substance. It is highly impressionable. That is, it can receive and hold on to vibration. Because of its high resonance capacity and sensitivity, and an inner readiness to resonate, the water responds instantaneously to all types of sonic waves. Vibrating water and earth make up the majority of mass in plants and animals. It is easy to observe how simple vibrations in water can create recognizable natural patterns. But as we add solids and increase the amplitude, things get even more interesting. Adding cornstarch to water, we get more complex phenomena. Perhaps the principles of life itself can be observed as vibrations move the cornstarch blob into what appears to be a moving organism. The animating principle of the universe is described in every major religion using words that reflect the understanding of that time in history. In the language of the Incas, the largest empire in pre-Columbian America. The word for human body is Alpa Kamaska, which means literally, animated earth. <laughs> 